to show you my okra cracker and, and can we get a taste test? Yes. Now I know it's crunchyrific because when I broke it apart it sounded like this. But we need to, to hear the crunch, shall we? Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh my cracker let me love you down. <laughs> See, when I was a kid, I never knew why okra was slimy. And now I know because it's a great raw binding agent in raw crackers, right? Mm. Hey, hey, beautiful people. Welcome to the new kitchen of Love and Light, where I have to show you something. I've been putting up, before this part of the video, these crackers. And you have to see, because these things... Okay, ridiculous. Let me just show you. Are you watch. Are you ready? <laughs> watch again. Are you ready? Go. Alright. So I want to tell you what's in this. First of all, we had about two pounds of raw okra. Okay. I washed it good. I sliced it into, uh, you know, cir circlets. And then I put it into my blender. Then... I put about one-fourth cup, a little bit more if you want, of raw flax seeds that I freshly ground, okay? And then I put about a half of a tablespoon of garlic powder and two tablespoons of wakame seaweed, all right? So these are a very salty, delicious, they do not taste like okra if you don't know what that is or if you don't like it. It, the thing about okra is when you cut it, the seeds and all, there's a little bit of stickiness, almost like a slime. I don't want to say slime. A sticky component of cracker grandness, okay, in there. And the great thing about it is it's a binding agent, so you don't need much fat. And why are we worried about that? Because you could be eating raw crackers that have basically all flax seeds. And do you realize a quarter cup of flax seeds is 200 calories. So if you've got a cracker made with four cups, well, let's say a cup for, for a serving, that's the main thing in there is spices and all. Okay, you're talking about 800 calories of fat and that's too much, baby, it's too much. It's hard on the digestion. So stretching out the fat is the key to success, right? And greens make you lean, but that's another side point. So anyway, I just wanna show you how good this turned out. It's a really good thickness. So what you do is you put that into your high-speed blender or your blender. You're gonna put a little, try to start working it in there. It's gonna depend on how dense your okra was, how mature the, the smaller okras are better because they have a milder flavor, almost a no flavor. But when you get them too big, they become very coarse. So try to get medium to small, okras okay so you're gonna blend that up and you can add a little bit of water if you need to get it to blend but it's gonna make a very sticky thick batter kind of like a pancake batter now I used my nine tray Excalibur which you realize how large these trays are they're this big if you have a four tray these are 25% wider and longer so 50 percent bigger do y'all see that so they're large so i pulled this out this made a dehydrator and a and a, a tray and a half of the nine tray excalibur dehydrator so i pour that onto a teflex sheet you can also use parchment paper then i turn on the dehydrator and slid it in at 115 degrees I left it in there a few hours. It's going to depend on how humid it is in your area. Also, it will depend on 
what kind of dehydrator you're using. So what you do is you leave it in there until you can bring it over. You take another grid that does not have the paper on it like this. You put the grid on top of it. You hold them together like a hamburger. You flip it over and then you gently peel the paper off. The sooner you can do that, the quicker the dehydration goes because you are allowing the underneath to get airflow, right? So you're gonna leave them in there until they're crispy. Uh, it's like wasn't even a whole day okay because the okra I didn't add much water I just worked the batter okay so I'll be back in a minute to show you what I'm having this with but I need you to hear and see just like you did a second ago because I did a clippy but, but you have to understand do you all I have some other okra cracker recipes this one is epic. Do you hear me? Can you not stay on your raw diet because you need crunch? Well, here you go. What's the problem? <laughs> okay, we've got a lot more salad and crackers over there. The dressing tonight is only a half of a tablespoon of hemp seeds, two cups of corn, a little bit of lemon juice, and some dulse flakes blended. There we go. Thank you. 